in this vlog today I'm gonna to take you along with me to the Apple store because I have to fix one of my devices so I'm gonna go along that's one of my appointments today and I thought well it's in the city so I'll take you along with me I might see some pretty Christmas decorations or anything um, I managed to pick up some items in the Black Friday sale for my new flat, some kitchen gadgets, so stay tuned, I'm going to do a haul later on for that. Also, managed to find my satin bonnet. So my satin bonnet was packed away, I've been unpacking some of my belongings and items, clothes, etc, all that good stuff. Still yet to get everything like sorted it's not 100% like how I want it to be um the coziness is getting there so I've been looking on different decoration and um decor transformations for, like the flooring maybe wallpaper radiator covers things like that so yeah um I've just had some um like well they call maintenance people come to look at some of the repairs that needed sorting in my flat because there hasn't been a tenant in um for some time and i'm like the tenant that's moved in basically after a while i'll insert uh, insert some of the items i found like here and here so these are like the um aesthetics and color shades and tones that i hope to incorporate in my new flat it's just gone 10 a.m and i've had breakfast and everything oh my gosh without my retainer the um invisalign oh my gosh it's so weird to like talk sometimes i get tongue twisted because literally if i'm not eating or drinking i've got my aligners in so when i don't so i'm just looking at my cat she's like preying in the kitchen <laughs> but basically when i don't have my liner in it feels different obviously from when i have it in so sometimes my speech gets a bit twisted so ignore that you know how it gets sometimes for those who have braces or aligners retainers and all the rest of it i'm gonna get ready and just get ready to head out my appointment's in the afternoon, about three, so I'm just going to do a few emails and any bits of online work that I'm prepping to do and everything. Like the tenant that's moved in basically after a while. Uh, that being said, um, stay tuned and let's get into this vlog. Hey, welcome back. So I'm in my bedroom and I'm just gonna do my makeup, so I thought I'd video and you know do my makeup while chatting with you basically i've just put on this crew neck top i wouldn't say sweater because it's like a cotton material so it's not as thick as a sweater it's more like a t-shirt type material or a jersey top however it's just got the crew neck this is not today so just a bit of a graphic slogan and I've just paired it with some leggings so the camera's quite high so I may just put some jeans some ripped jeans over the leggings so I didn't want to wear just ripped jeans by themselves because of, of the weather even though it's sunny it is a bit chilly still being November and no hey it's the first of December so <laughs> first of December I have looked at my calendar today um I didn't want to just wear one pair of leggings because of the, you know, chilliness and more towards the afternoon it does tend to get a bit colder. Anyways, enough of the weather. Let's get on to me doing my makeup. Right, so I've already moisturised my face and put a um sort of emollient on. So I use Vaseline as emollient, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use a mini antiseptic hand sanitizer that I picked up from Superdrug and it's just in the raspberry so it's antibacterial just I have washed my hands but just use a little of the gel just as I'm going to be touching my face and everything and it is good to be clean extra sanitized I'm going to go ahead and put this SPF 50 even though it is winter the sun's out and it is good to just so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this mini one 
it's almost finished so I need to re-applaunt that so just a little goes a long way since it's SPF 15 and just put that on my skin and moisturise up next some of my makeup is still packed away but the majority of it the most of it are unpacked and I haven't really been wearing makeup as you've seen if you've watched any of my previous videos this past few weeks so I'm gonna go with a spoolie and just neaten up my brows so it's been some weeks and I've literally not had them plucked or anything not waxed or threaded and this is like my natural shape however there are a bit of hairs poking through where it's growing back then I'll probably just do I want to wear concealer today I'll wear a little so I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender I've just stuck them up in this jar and uh, I was experimenting and I like on this shape with one of my beauty blenders it's like a cracked egg <laughs> anywho moving on so i'm not gonna wet it today because i'm not gonna be using a lot so i'm gonna just use some of my regular uh pro concealer that i use and it's just a hd concealer from illegal and i'm going to use the light ivory shade and this it's not dry like bone dry but it's not moist it's just soft enough and has a bit of product so it's not like very dry it's probably got the mario De mario badescu uh spritz on it from like a previous application and i will be washing my brushes but we have not really worn makeup for some weeks really they're not dirty so I'm gonna go ahead and just I don't really apply a lot gosh a lot came out that time but to be fair I don't actually use a lot so just put some on my forehead my upper lip my under eye and my nose sometimes i put some there just to like highlight the higher surfaces of my skin and then i'm just gonna go in with this one and lightly pat see as you can see even though i did use a lot just well a lot a lot then more than what i normally use because i don't normally put this amount on However, this has SPF in it as well. It's got SPF 15 and where I'm going to be out today because I'm going to the Apple store. It works like in combination with the other SPF cream. Just move this up my eye there. Just use the light. See, it just monitors with my hand. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go in on my eyelid and any residue from the beauty blender will just disperse a bit more excuse the monitor I think it's where I've positioned the camera the lights adjusting and I like to put some on my upper lip because I have a few red patches sometimes where I've just washed my face not long ago like an hour ago it tends to be a bit red and then under my lip on my chin to be fair because I'll be wearing a mask in the store that spot that I got is cleared up a bit thankfully I had to use the simple face wash cucumber and that really helped it's really cleansing i'm actually not happy with that especially i have sensitive skin i feel like that's enough 
blending right about now I'm going to just excuse the light <laughs> here we go again right. so search for my products and I also need to get another eyebrow liner because look how much I've used this this was like about that long <laughs> okay probably about that long but you know you get the gist of it and I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows so I'm just gonna start at the bottom brush them out a bit more see this is why I tend to just put my hair back sometimes gets in my face and I don't really like it in my face too much right let's go back now just lightly normally I use a mirror so excuse me today I'm using a different technique of just using the viewfinder and I'm gonna fluff them out after. So make them as symmetrical as possible. Manage to fit my vanity portrait mirror in my room, my bedroom. It's a bit dark, but I'm just gonna fill it in in my bedroom as I was saying however I'm a bit annoyed because I realised that some of the light bulbs are missing and I've checked the bags that I've not yet unpacked and they're not in there so I'm a bit fuming I'm livid for that however I know and I'm looking into replacing them from Hollywood mirrors where I got the full mirror from but the removal van like basically the guys, they have lost the bulbs, so five bulbs have gone in and I've got to replace them, so that's a bit annoying. Right, so that's filled in enough. And it's actually need sharpening, so I'll go ahead and sharpen that with my sharpener. And Basically, I check online the light bulbs so I can get a set, well, a whole pack of 10 um, as like a replacement package. So I've just sharpened and I'm gonna go in a bit more. Also, I am just rearranging I'm gonna go and fluff it out a bit arranging like my decor because a lot of my bedding is like from a previous decor scheme and I don't think I want like as much colour as in like red and things like that so I'm opting to get more like ivory champagne um, cream and things like that just incorporate into my decor and where I had light wood flooring before I'm opting to get no I had dark did I say light I meant I had dark wood flooring before and this is the brain of a multitasker that's got like to-do lists so basically I had dark floor and I'm looking to get light floor so hopefully I'm able to sort that in the new year Right, now I'm going to use some cool, just my water eye line. See, I feel like because I've not worn makeup really for some time, just adjust the light. The time frame of me doing it is a lot slower. So, oh gosh, it's gone up the top see see what I mean <laughs> normally I'll just be like and it'd be like complete 
ぱなあ面白いよねサマーロンガーあれだねまだしゅうてい I'm gonna wear lashes. I did manage to find my glue, however, I feel like it's dried out, so I'm going to just. That's what I'm working with at the minute. It's like a mesh mesh of things that really ideally needs to be reorganised. So I'm going in with the makeup gallery, and it's just an eyeliner that was gifted to me. and A swatch, so this is quite dried out as well. Um, when did I use the other day? I went to test to see if it was a bit wet. I think, yeah, this one. Just gonna go in a bit. So I start from the altar and then I'll work my way in, just join at the lower tip. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I feel like this is. Dried up quite a bit, also, and okay, we're good. Just in the light because normally this is quite dark and prominent, however, smudge it out a bit because it's too faint. I think that would do because I'm not going anywhere too fancy anyway, so. It's not like I need to be doing up like a whole lot of makeup to be honest. I'm going in with the New York Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and then I'm going to just fluff up my lashes a bit just to give it a bit of shape. And I might put a bit of eyeshadow on just on my eyelids a little bit. Not much. Right. That's just my window. <laughs> bit of pressure opened the window a bit in front of where I'm doing my makeup. And it's probably a bit breezy worth making that like bounce. So I like to do like recoats and mascara, sometimes more, sometimes less. And I'm going in with this like blush pink、uh, lip liner. And I like to start from my lower lip. And then go in to the top. I don't really have a prominent cupid's bow, which is like a peak at the top. And I like to fill in with the lip liner sometimes to give it like a matte lip colour. Then there's some. Move it out a bit. Going in with the She Makeup in the Shea Butter from Miss A, which is an online supplier. So I like to do my lips like that, just a bit of colour and moisture. And I feel like Just matting my skin with a bit of powder, but I'm gonna go in. This is the Glow Pure from Primark, it's just the highlight. And what I've done is I've recycled, reused my chili packaging for my floss, put some of my brushes. So I'm gonna get out one of these. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> This is Why I like to work out to keep like stamina up. So I think I'll use my angles brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade. Hmm, shall I use glitter and 
Firefly. So I'm going to use Firefly and Glitter and just mix them together and just fluff over my eyelids a bit. Not a lot. As you can see, just a bit of a glow to the bridge of my nose. My upper lip. And I feel like that will do for now. And my face tends to get oily sometimes, so what I am going to do is just. So I've got my other like bamboo brush, and I'm going in with the Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to. There's already some product a bit on the top, so I'm going to get some of my brush and just dab in the lid so it's not so much on the brush under my eyes so I don't really always bake hardly bake to be fair because I just don't like putting so much product on my face I do have overall sensitive skin to be honest so sometimes this is all I need which isn't a lot clearly. Whoa, that just altered a lot. <laughs> it's a little bit more. Stop a lot of oil like, coming to the surface. Right, that's that. And I believe that concludes my makeup for now for today for now so what i'm gonna go in and do is just get some then from my bag i'm just gonna fluff out my hair a bit and it's not really back home in it just lightly brushing out any tangles so a bit neater really I'm taking it out of the bun today because for the most part I won't be unpacking anything in the day for sure because I'll be out and sometimes I like to bring my bangs down like that and sweep over whereas today I think I'll just have it like that actually that looks decent and that will do excuse the alteration of the light so that's that and I was going to put it back in my makeup brush so, anyway, ah! so that concludes my quick get ready with me makeup and hair and Let's get moving. Uh, my poem is not till the afternoon and it's just coming up to midday. So what I'm going to do is make sure that light's alright. What I'm going to do is just make sure that my devices are backed up and everything and it's all prepared for when I get to the Apple store. So stay tuned. Right, I'm all set to go and I've just put on this aviator. Um, it's a Primark one and I've had it for about a year um, with a bit of fur inline, some ripped jeans, some combat boots, excuse the floor, we all know why, well if you don't know then now you know because I've moved, the floor's not done, got my mask and just my bag with my laptop device and everything and I'm going to head out now.
Thanks for watching.